Next. Uh, there will be a report from advisor of New Palm Life Insurance Company. And also uh, the former executive advisor of Japan Housing Finance Agency. I think he was in ADB as well. He'll be talking about housing and green finance in Japan. Mr. Um, Masahiro Kobayashi, please. Uh, thank you very much for your kind introduction. My name is Kobayashi. I would like to share my screen. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, next page, please. Uh, thank you for waiting. So, I would like to talk about green finance in Japan and housing finance. So. Uh, I would like to first of all explain about the, actually, the Japan Housing Finance Agency, JHF, and also the issuance of green market, green finance. And, uh, the Government Housing Loan Corporation was established in, uh, 1950 and uh, became the Japan Housing Finance Agency in 2007. GHLC, the Japan Government Housing Loan Corporation, they provide long-term fixed-rate loans. So FILP, the government funding is used. So fixed interest rate loans are provided. And also they... So, and uh, accepting subsidies from the National General Account to provide long-term fixed loan interest rate loans. From, However, the liberalization of the mortgage market in 1990s and increase in private sector lending, as a result of that, uh, their performance went down and uh, it was abolished in 2007. But at that time, the capital markets, uh, we, if we think of that, it is not as if uh, long-term fixed interest, low interest loans can be provided only from the uh, private sector, so they refer to Fannie Mae and others in the United States, and as you can see at the bottom, JHF, Japan Housing Finance Agency, was established. So the private financial companies, institutions, will provide 35-year housing loan, and those loans will be transferred or sold to JHF, and these will be packaged and sold to investors as mortgage-backed securities, MBS. So by issuing such securities, we we will be able to per, uh, raise funds from the market so we won't be dependent on government funds. So we will be complementing uh, the private sector. So that is the major structural change in the housing loan market in Japan. Next slide, please. Now, GHLC. Uh, was providing loans at uh, reverse spread. So about 400 billion yen per year was uh, provided by the, by the government in terms of subsidy. However, JHF, uh, currently about 200 billion uh, profit is generated per year. So in terms of finance, uh, we are very sound. And I think uh, it is one of the most successful examples of special cooperation reform in Japan. And the JHF's uh, fund procurement is mainly by MBS. And as you can see here, the green, uh, that is the JHF. Mainly, uh, recently there's been some decline, but for some time, two trillion yen or so was MBS issuance. So, we have more than 50% share in the Japanese MBS market. So in a very stable way, funding is provided. So using this kind of scheme in Japan, about 1% 35-year loan, 35-year uh, long uh, house mortgage is provided. However, just financial improvement, uh, that is not all. 
So JHF is a government-affiliated organization, so the government policy we need to abide by. And we need to maximize uh, the implementation of these policies. That is the pillar of the midterm business plan. And uh, global warming measures is also very important. So as you can see on the very bottom, the bus building standards law more the houses need to be compliant with that. And flat 35, the 35 year housing loan that we provide, we have our own technical standards. And the quality needs to exceed uh, the building standards. And for housing that uh, provides higher standards, then we provide uh, a product called flat 35S. So as a result of that, the quality of housing can be raised further. So that is already incorporated into the housing scheme. So that is one of the major characteristics of these housing loans provided by JHF in Japan. So as mentioned, flat 35 and flat 35S, the GHG and CO2 emission reduction. So concerning these, uh, there are standards, uh, and that secure the amount of reduction. And depending on the type, every year, uh, depending on the budget, uh, these numbers will change. But in order to supply high-quality housing, we need to provide incentive uh, to the buyers to purchase such high-quality housing. So 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 percent, there is... Um, uh, for like the first five years or first 10 years, uh, there will be reduction in interest rate uh, to motivate that. And uh, similar here as well. Uh, the actual numbers will change every year. So CO2 reduction in order to achieve this through finance. Uh, so through interest rate reduction, this is being made possible. Concerning Flat 35S, though we do not receive any government subsidy. For Flat 35, we do not receive any government subsidy, but Flat 35S. Uh, yesterday, uh, Professor Franz mentioned there was a term fuel poor. So for the low interest people, low income people, the utility cost is very high. And so energy, high energy efficiency, high quality housing, in order for them to purchase that, we would be reducing interest rate and we believe that uh, this is feasible. Next page, please. Against the backdrop of our organization uh, in January of 2019 had decided to issue at the very first, at the green bond of the agency, and since then, the amount of issuance, as you can see in the graph, have changed. And starting from FI 2021, the green bond of the agency, with the government guarantee being provided from the Ministry of Finance, has started to be issued as well. And the amount of the issuance, as you can see, has a, a trend that you see on the graph up until now. Well, uh, the one uh, without the uh, government, uh, the guarantee was uh, 425 billion yen. One with the government uh, guarantee had amounted to 600 billion yen. So a total amount of the issue has, has went over 1 trillion yen. Uh, by the way, as for the green bond issued uh, by our agency, for well, ECM, uh, we are in line uh, with the ECM standard. And and that is being certified by the third party institution, and therefore uh, it is uh, being evaluated uh, highly. Next page, please. Uh, what you see, as you can see, uh, the government is also providing uh, uh, the support. What you see here uh, is uh, the green, green bond and non green bonds uh, in the secondary market. You can see distribution yield uh, horizontally. Uh, you can see uh, the remaining maturity in years. The yield curve well, if you are to take a look at the yield curve, what's indicated in green stands for uh, R at the green bond. 
uh, without the government uh, guarantee. Uh, what's indicated in white, or should I call it at the gray uh, the dots? They are uh, the general uh, the bonds. A uh, general other uh, bond, which is not green. Unfortunately speaking, at this moment, the market is evaluating that at the green bond, in between the green bond and non-green bond, there is not much of a clear uh, difference in terms of the yield. Uh, the green greenium is not at this moment uh, being a. Uh, Recognize at this moment, what's indicated in red dots are the ones with the, uh, the government at the guarantee. These at the green bonds will, will, uh, has at the better yield. Uh, that is uh, because of it uh, have been guaranteed by the government. So at this moment in Japan, well, under uh, the current financial uh, environment against the green bond, there is no clear a premium is being added, and people are not really uh, willing uh, to accept it, uh, even if the yield is lower. As was mentioned by Professor Shilai, well, if, if you take a look at the market, uh, even if you refer to uh, uh, the respective issuers, uh, that's the kind of situation that we observe. So having said that, let's move on to the next page. Against the green bond, uh, the motivation, uh, is there uh, from uh, the investors. What you see in this graph shows the number of the investors declared declaring investment in green bond issued by us. As you can see, it is steadily increasing, uh, and one of which is Nippon Life Insurance Company. Well, investors are with starting and she have more interest upon making investment, uh, but uh, against the backdrop of the current environment, that is not really reflected onto the reality. Next, uh, would you please move on to the next page? Well, as I mentioned, our institution uh, is a government organization. In Japan, starting from 2025, all the new uh, housings, it, it is required that, that they fulfill the standard for the, uh, uh, the energy saving. <laughs> And the flat 35 uh, is only going to be applied uh, to uh, the ones that is going to fulfill that. Uh, would you please skip two pages? Would you please move on to the following page? One other page, please. Well, uh, at my organization, JHF, next, we are currently uh, uh, thinking of a uh, uh, applying uh, the re renovation loans in case the existing houses are being retrofitted. At this moment, it's been all, uh, not many days have passed since introduction and track record is low, but we hope that more and more people would utilize this. Uh, currently, the Bank of Japan uh, is uh, a setting, uh, uh, we have decided to uh, make at the yield curve control at uh, the flexible. And it is now showing the upward trend. As for the, uh, the flat 35, uh, the rate is increasing. But on the other hand, at a short rate, for well, uh, the since Bank of Japan is maintaining the negative interest rate policy, uh, well, uh, the other day governor had used the word challenging. Therefore, well, uh, uh, but at this moment, we still see uh, and uh, that at the flat 35 and the variable interest rate, uh, the interest rate difference between the two is large. Against the backdrop, well, well uh, the po policy introduction cannot be maximized through the, in uh, the utilization of the flat 35S. That is quite difficult. But for many years, we have been sustain uh, we have been seeing uh, the continuation of the deflation. Uh, but when uh, the world uh, with uh, the interest rate comes back, we believe that the policy inducement through flat 35 is going to once again uh, catch uh, people's eyes. That's the kind of expectation that we have. But anyhow, uh, the realization of decarbonized society cannot be realized by the agency nor ja Japan alone. So a knowledge sharing between each country in home financing is also important. Uh, therefore, uh, the agency 
uh, for agents from the standpoint of the agency we believe that information sharing is quite important uh, together with the asian institutions well uh, we have uh, formulated uh, the alliance and this week on monday uh, there was a uh, general assembly being held in tokyo on monday where the knowledge sharing had been conducted amongst the alliance of the securitization institutions. And by the way, at that meeting, ECBC's uh, the Secretary General, Mr. Luca, who is going to give us the presentation today, had participated. Uh, 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 we had been uh, able to work on uh, the information sharing and the knowledge sharing among uh, with, between Asia and Europe. But anyhow, uh, I introduce you to the initiative related to the narrow field of foreign financing. Uh, it's not uh, well, without doing not, uh, something, we will not be able to proceed forward. We really do hope that through sharing of the knowledge, we would be able to see the improvement in, in, the, uh, in the situation of each country. Uh, by the way, please note that my talk today is purely my personal view and does not represent my... Uh, does not represent opinion or view of my agency, Nippon Life Insurance Company, nor NLI Research Institute. With that, I would like to conclude my remark. Thank you. And that is all. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Mr. Kobayashi, thank you very much.